G'day, fellas. Welcome to a Fast Imperial game. Uh, I just know because my enemies picked Delhi. We're going to be playing a Fast Imperial. We're going to be going for it. The Chinese Fast Imperial opening. So we're going to be going for a water boom here. We're playing on Black Forest, which is, as most of you guys would know, a little bit of a booming map. Uh, for anybody on Twitch at the moment, make sure you guys say hi to YouTube because this one is definitely going to be going up when uh, when I spot an enemy who is... Uh, who is Picking uh, Delhi in the Black Forest, I just know this is going to be a game where we wall up. So my thinking at the moment in this matchup is that we're going to be just going for a complete uh, Fast Imperial. And the strategy behind this is essentially... Um, oh, hold on. i got to be careful with this. I need to send one of these guys over here. Actually, might even send two of them. Um, and so the reason why is just because of the way that the meta works at the moment. Um, oh, we're going to need more Vils out here. So, we're going to be going for fast bombards, is my thinking. Bombards should be able to deal with most of the stuff that Delhi can throw at us. Alright, we're not looking too bad, actually. One, two... So, one thing to note with this map is that typically the way that it spawns, you don't have a lot of land in here on Black Forest. And so, the best thing to do is really be careful with the way that you're placing your buildings. So, I kind of like to keep them all at the back. Um, and you can see, like, I'm, I'm being kind of careful about where I place my, um, my house right there. So now we're going to go scout out. Hopefully, hopefully we are all good. There we go. Looking pretty decent, actually. This is a nice opening, as you guys can see. Uh, managing to um, to keep a, a TC fully producing. Our fishing boats are constantly coming out. All right. And so we've scouted out in that direction. Now we're just going to go scout out in all the directions. We just want to make sure we cover all the entrances to our bases. All right. Come on, villagers. We're going to go inside the TC. Hopefully be able to take him out here. Doesn't look like it. Oh, it might be close. Oh my lord, that was close. If we put a couple more vills in that town center, we probably would have been able to take him to school. Uh, but villagers, once again, not not knowing how to work. All right, so this is exactly where we want to be placing a lumber camp. It's got amazing surface area down there. So by placing that lumber camp, it's going to guarantee that we're going to have pretty good... Um, Good villager, or good, good coverage. So I'm going to try and make sure that we get um, an Imperial official out relatively early as well. Uh, so I'm going to send all these guys in. They're all going to come down, chop this tree. Oh, gosh. Misclicks. Good job, Drongo. So Imperial officials are quite strong doing water booms just because you can focus on uh, the wood line. So we've got six villagers down here, which is exactly what we need. Um, and then we're going to need to look to transition... Uh, into gold very shortly, but we're going to make sure that we get more Imperial officials out. The more Imperial officials that we've got out, the better. We're going to boost up that economy. Keep in mind that they're giving a 1.2 multiplier uh, to any villagers that you've got. So we've got 1.6, or we've got six villagers here. So that's a 1.2 villager addition that we're going to have. So not too bad at all. So we're going to continue working out across the map. Uh, we're going to need to drop down a house on the next one. Might be a little bit tight with our transition here. But hopefully should be okay. Let's get you moving out. Has that got... That's got tax. I can probably collect that tax. Wouldn't hurt me. Alright, so we're going to try and drop that down. That'll be the best spot that we can do. Hopefully we don't go too idle. We're going to go idle for a little bit here. Oh, we're going to go idle for a while here, actually. Probably should have dropped the house first. That's okay, though. Alright. And not doing the best here. But, uh... Yeah, we're going pretty badly, I'd say. Uh, so now we're going to continue doing this. And now after this, we're going to make sure that we add in our mining camp. This is going to take us up to the next age. Uh, but one of the things I'm going to do is get another Imperial official out just so that they can look after this mining camp. All right, and coming back now. Let's get you guys over there. Now we'll go scout him out, see what he's up to now. Keep in mind, he's playing Delhi. Um, and for anybody unfamiliar with Delhi, they are a civilization that is very late game. All right, so let's send you over like that. So now we're going to supervise that one. So because they're so late game, I can be pretty well guaranteed that he's not going to be looking to attack me too much in the early game. Now, obviously, different players, different play styles, but generally you can expect a Delhi player to be looking to, to secure a bit more strength in the late game. Uh, and so that's what I'm sort of hoping for, I guess is probably the best way to say it. So give me mind, he could definitely ram push me. Uh, that is totally a possibility, but we're going to need to scout him out. He's going Dome of the Faith, so this is basically your standard Delhi Age Up landmark. Uh, it's on gold mines. Nothing too out of the ordinary there. Uh, so we're going to start... Oh, that is not what I wanted to do. Uh, so we're going to start by putting down our Imperial Academy. 
Uh, get a nice little spot. I guess we'll go about here. Not looking too bad. All right, he's managed to heal up. A lot of villagers on wood, so undoubtedly going to be on water here as well. So we'll have to scout him out, see what he's up to. There's the dock. All right, so we're going to look to get our next house down. So we'll spot how many fi fishing boats he's got. It looks like quite a lot here. Uh, there's four there, there's five there, so nine in total. Let's take a look how many we've got. We've got only eight out at the moment. So... He maybe double dock. Uh, but uh, we'll, we'll scout it out. We'll see how he's going. Uh, now keep in mind, we're going to be going for a fast Imperial strategy here. So we're going to wall off the middle. So let's get some walls out there. Uh, we're going to wall off down here as well. So we're going to send some forward villagers up to go wall that off. Just so that we've got a bit more time. Uh, and we're also going to go wall off up here as well. Now I probably want to wall at this choke point right here. But I'm not sure if that goes all the way through. Alright, so we've now aged up as well, so nice to meet you, Fen. Uh, so we can get the extended line upgrade here now. Alright, so we're going to need a few more bills on gold. Uh, we want to get our gold upgrade here as well. Uh, where can we wall off? I guess like right here. Like, do we just go wall off in front of his base? I think we do. All right, so now we've got specialized pick. All right, so we're just going to go wall like that. We're just going to wait for our villager to get out there just so he doesn't have like a little indication that we're walling. And so the more aggressively you wall, the better uh, in my experience, just because you're going to be able to buy yourself more time. It's going to take him longer to get through. Uh, most importantly, we're walling out the relics as well, and he's playing the Delhi Sultanate. So definitely going to help us out there rather than him. Now, keep in mind, we are going for a fast Imperial strategy. All right, so I'm going to continue dropping more walls down. Um, I'm going to make sure that I get on the right side of my wall, though. Now, with the fast Imperial strategy, as I mentioned, we're going to be going bombards. So we're going to be doing bombards combined with... Um, what are they called? You guys know the one I'm thinking of. Uh, let's get a few more of these fishing boats out, actually. Uh, with palace guards. So that is going to be our play. Uh, looks like he's actually through... Hello, uh, that's awkward. That is very awkward. I did not expect this. I did not expect this at all. Alright, so now we are going to... <laughs> I can't believe that happened! Oh, that's too funny. That is so funny. Actually, that's like kind of big. Let's go like there. You know, it's about min-maxing, isn't it, fellas? So now he goes back to there. Actually, we're through. This is kind of good. We want to be through. Looks like he's going for a second town center. So we could definitely think about the second town center as well. I'm happy with two walls here. I don't think we're going to need more than two walls, but I'm going to need you guys to get over here. So you're chopping in the right direction. All right. So he is going for full Delhi greed, which I like to see. Uh, we're going to continue walling up the middle. Because keep in mind, we are going for that beautiful uh, greedy opening. Uh, we might also... I'm just going to send a single villager forward uh, just to drop down my Barbican. Um, and we've got a couple of villagers at the moment. Let's head over here. It's probably too many. Uh, but it's probably best that we move them all together. Um, just because... Let's get these bad boys out. Uh, if we move them all together, then it means that we're going to be able to buff up uh, th this one uh, thing at the same time. Like that. Then we're going to be able to set it and forget it. He has reached the castle age as well. So, no surprises there. He's going to be a bit tough against Delhi, I will say that much. Uh, his scout has been walled out, so not bad. Uh, we, did, we didn't wall out his sacred site, which I kind of feel bad about, but it's all right. We'll get there. All right, let's make sure. Yep, I think that should be enough right there. So now everybody heads back over. So next town center, we're going to drop it down right here. There it goes. Alright, and then get you over here. Uh, hello? Alright, Imperial officials looking a little bit confused, as they do sometimes. That's alright, we've got too many, but that that is all part of it. Oh, we've actually trained one too many, that's okay. 
All right, fishing boat's getting a little bit confused. That's perfect. I don't think we need to increase the carry capacity. Uh, it's gonna- they're gonna run out of fish in here eventually. All right, so we're buffing up that, buffing up this. Uh, probably need to get a mill just for, um, just for wheelbarrow. Probably a good idea. So we'll drop that down. We're gonna need a lot more villagers over on wood. So I'm gonna begin that transition over now. These guys are gonna continue. I really don't know what I'm gonna do with this guy here. Song Dynasty has now begun. So villagers getting trained extra fast. Uh, to be honest, I probably need a few more villagers on food, but I feel like this is probably gonna be decent enough. Maybe we just throw that down here as well. All right, we're gonna go scout him out once again. Uh, keep in mind, he's playing very greedy as well. But we are gonna go bombards. We're gonna go like full bombards. Actually, I, I just realized we're gonna get our wood chopping upgrade. We don't have that yet. This guy is still idle. We wanna make sure that we're collecting from the right. All right. And then, so we want to make sure everybody comes down over that way. Oh, town center. Oh, no, we're going to lose that scout. That scout is gone. She is gone, skis. See if we can line a sight right there. No, we tried our best. So we spot a second town center. We haven't really spotted anything else yet. Uh, but now we're going to be able to click up. So we're just going to go up with the spirit way because we don't really have any other choice. And now we can begin our transition into a better life, a better future for tomorrow. So we're going to drop down these bad boys here. Actually, let's get you all the way out on the corner. The very tip. And this guy here is going to place a village down. Oh, not the best village, but uh, I'll accept it. Probably want to place, if anything, villages down here. Actually, that's a little bit close. We don't want to go too close to the spirit way. Then, like, maybe one up over there. All right, so now we've hit Imperial Age. We're gonna get out Imperial upgrades. He has got a war elephant out. Now keep in mind here, we're doing pretty well for ourselves. Gonna get our wheelbarrow upgrade. Uh, oh, actually what we can do is let's get uh, Bombard out. He's gonna siege through that pretty quickly. So what we might do is we're just gonna grab a villager and we're gonna come out, uh, oh, not in that direction. Maybe here? Yeah, I, th I think we just try and wall here. Maybe that's our best bet. First Bombard now coming out. Uh, we're going to get a few more of these bad boys, Palace Guards. So we're going to just be going full Palace Guards with Bombards. And I think that's probably going to be the best bet. Gathering up plenty of resources here. Actually, we probably want to get our gold mining one first. Uh, we're going to go jump up onto this gold mine as well. So let's go do that now. Just because we're going to need a few more. Now, your gathering. Is my other one gathering as well? I've got three gathering at the moment. Uh, probably don't need that one on there. Let's keep it on here for now. So, we're gonna just drop down a whole bunch of barracks. Okay, and we're gonna get our upgrades. So, we're just gonna get ranged upgrade. He's slowly walking through these walls. He's got heavy war elephants. So, those guys aren't gonna stand a chance against our bombards. Bombard's gonna do very well against that. Uh, but we've gotta make sure that we get all of our upgrades in as well. Uh, so eventually when they come in, those are quite expensive upgrades. Uh, so we need to get a U up here. Alright, so continuing to make more bombards. Continuing to make more uh, of these guys. Uh, we can probably get you over on that. Actually, you know what? We're just going to get you collecting gold. I think that's fine. Cool. Alright, and so at this point, I'm going to start getting our farm upgrades because we're probably going to need to begin transitioning into farms sooner rather than later. One, two, let's go three, why not? All right, so he's through now on this southern part. So our next bombard is coming out now. We're going to get a third bombard, continuing to make villagers. So pretty happy with ourselves at the moment. Undoubtedly, he's going to continue pushing forward. We hear those elephants in the distance. All right, I'm going to begin transitioning now over to... Uh, let's get our second range upgrade. So he is just hanging out. Not like this, Stampy. So we are very effective against him. Continue.
continuing just to spam here. Loving it. Alright, we're gonna need you over here. Alright, so we're just gonna pull them back. Now we've got four of these bad boys. Uh, I want this one right here. Yeah, it's to research. So we're going to pull some villagers now to heal up. Alright, it looks like we're beginning to have quite significant wood issues. But uh, as you can see, the fast Imperial cannons has worked. China fast Imperial has held right now. And we're looking very healthy, I would say. Uh, let's get you guys up over here. Like that. Alright, and so now that we've got our Imperial upgrades in, we're going to look to get our Pyrotechnics. So Pyrotechnics is going to come in. This is going to give us a nice little range buff. And so I think at this point, we've got a couple of options as to how we can play, but I don't want to overplay my hand. Uh, so that's the big thing. Uh, there is nothing going on down here, so let's move you out and about. We can probably even put you down here. Uh, so we're going to drop our university down. We're going to get all of our upgrades. Uh, getting our plus three upgrade here, and then we might get that. And then let's get that, and then that. Why not? That's That looks like some good upgrades. Continuing to make units at this point. So it turns out Chinese Fast Imperial is actually pretty decent. So the primary thing that we're going for, obviously, are these bombards. Um, and the way that we make it work is just simply through the fact that we've got this little dude down here. Uh, or this little chick. I don't actually know. It's, it's technically it's a eunuch, uh, an imperial official. For anybody who doesn't know what a eunuch is, uh, E-U-N-U-C-H, I think it is. Google it. Uh, you'll be you'll be pleasantly surprised. And by ple pleasantly, I don't mean pleasant at all. Uh, we're going to move these guys back over to wood. We're having a little bit of wood issues at the moment. All right, so I think we can probably push out here. We can see he's continuing to move down. Actually, has crossbows in here? Yeah, crossbowmen. Um, and so with crossbows, how do we play against that? I think we just go... Do we just go nest of bees? I think we go nest of bees. Gonna have to light him up. So, we have got a lot of resources right now. So I'm gonna bring these... Actually, do I just stick them up on this wood line? Maybe up on this wood line. It's gonna be best. Uh, so... Continuing to make all of these bad boys. Uh, we need... Let's go that, and then we go that. Alright. Get out there. Get out about there. Now, Delhi, I think, have got the ability to make... Um, artillery on the front line. So we got to be a bit careful how, how we go about it. He's actually going now for his... Um, oh, we should, we should get that. That's a good tech. We want that one. So, yeah, Delhi, you've got this ability to make, um, I don't actually remember. Oh, it's, it's the Mongols and the Abbasid. That's who it is. It's not Delhi. All right, that's looking pretty good. Uh, let's, let's consider getting some stone. Move these guys out. This is actually coming in at a really decent time. Uh, now those guys, wood farmers, he's now up to the Imperial Age himself. Uh, so I think we can probably just go very heavy on stone. We've got so many stone resources in our base here. Uh, so we just want to get our nest of bees out. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> Alright, so he's probably just scouted us out here. Um, speaking of scouting us out, we should probably go and get some of these bad boys down. Uh, he was probably trying to capture the sacred sites. He hasn't captured that relic just yet. 
All right, so we're going to keep making nest of bees here. Uh, these guys are coming out full time. The most important thing with our push here is that we actually uh, bring with us a whole bunch of, um, of villagers. They're going to be repairing up for us. All right, if you guys can do that, that'd be wonderful. All right, so I think our push is basically ready to go at this point. Um, we're just going to need to get this one right before we push it out. And we might bring, like, these guys here, 12. Uh, now, we have been on stone as well, so we're going to get make sure that we drop down a castle. Uh, now, we're going to be fighting down here towards the south. This is where he is pushing. Uh, and so we want to make sure that we're fighting in the same alleyway that he is. All right. Now, we've got... Have we got triple upgrades? I think we've got pretty close to triple upgrades here. All right. We've reached population capacity. Wonderful. We're going to get all of our upgrades here. Uh, we're ready to push out. Let's go. We've got four nest of bees. That should be enough. All right. So one, two, three, four. Let's make sure that they've all got units ready to go in there as well for reinforcement. So maybe reinforce to here. All right. And let's begin our push. So now this is like, this is China's, essentially this is like China's win condition. In my opinion, China have like one win condition and this is it. And it's literally fucking fast Imperium. It's kind of wild. All right. So these guys are going to come out as well. So we're not even going to call this guy, these guys a control group eventually. I'm just going to make sure that they go up there just so that we're all covered on our flanks. Uh, in fact, what we could probably do is just wall this off just so that we don't get flanked from this direction. We can see that he is down here. A little bit of a weird position, I'll say that much. Keep in mind, we've got pyrotechnics, so we can, uh, we can take some crazy shots. Good job, guys. I love it when you just wall yourselves out like that. Very, very, very effective. Walling guys, impressive stuff. He's got some bombards back here himself, so this is gonna give. This should give us line of sight through here. Indeed, it does. One down. Let's get you guys over there. All right, and we're just gonna get a whole bunch more bombards coming through. All right, where are those villagers? The chopping wood, of course they are. Looks like he's focusing down that one. All right, so our villagers here are just going to be healing this bad boy up. As long as I can hit the... Uh, looks like he's going for that one now. I think that one's probably going to go down. All right, so we're going to just move forward. We're going to drop down a castle. We've got plenty of resources to do it. A few more units down here. Now, we're also going to begin transitioning into hand cannoneers. All right, looking pretty decent at this point. Need you to stay alive, my friend. So just going to pull a few of these guys over, make sure we get the boiling oil upgrade. And of course, now going to begin doing that. Alright, you come here and then you come down this way. Uh, okay, there's my villagers. Uh, not doing the best. Oh, there you guys are. I'm wondering where those reinforcements are. So we need to get up, take these guys out. Alright, so it looks like we might be running out of fish here. All right, Chinese bombards, just way too strong. No real way to beat them. Um, unless he's got culverins, he can't really beat these. All right, so now we are beginning the transition into... I'm looking for gold on the map. Do you guys see any gold on the map? I don't see any gold. There's some gold here. Uh, we do have a market in the middle, so maybe we look at doing a potential market trade. Let's get a market down. Uh, and you get out there. 
Let's make sure all of these guys are doing something useful. So gathering gold is probably going to be the most useful thing. We got plenty of gold here. I'm just going to delete these ones. Alright, uh, and make sure that we heal up these guys. Wonderful. Everybody looking good over here. Alright, and we're going to make sure that you guys are doing the right thing as well. Can we just get you guys to just quickly move like that, just so that we can source these guys? Maybe make a couple more nest of bees. We'll turn that off, and let's just get you ham. Oh, you're not even doing anything. There you go. Alright, now you're going to come to the middle. You're just going to keep doing that. Alright, we're good. That's not good. Get back here, boys. So we're going to focus down that elephant. Now, he's got a bombard back there, so I don't think that we can, like... Can I just ask, like, where the fuck is my food income right now? Like, I definitely feel like I don't have enough food income. I've got 45 idle vills right now. I need more space. What do you mean you can't build here? Just get up there! How many villagers have I got? And why are they all idle? Alright, we're slowly pushing through. What? I think those are just bugged. So the great thing about Bombards, with their huge line of sight, I can just continue to push like this. If I see any enemy units coming in, like that elephant, I can back out. So we're going to focus down that Bombard. If we can spot him. Good job, guys. Oh, that's amazing. My macro right now is, is kind of bad. I'm going to be real. All right, so we're going to look to secure more ground now. And this is what makes China so strong. Can you guys get over here? Thanks. Alright, continuing to push forward now. Gonna get a couple more nest of bees out. Good job, guys. GG. There it is, the Chinese Fast Imperial. It works, ladies and gentlemen. It works.
It was a little bit tough. It wasn't perfect, but I think we did well. I think we did well. If you're watching this on Twitch, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you guys say hi to YouTube. And once again, if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you guys, uh, if you enjoyed the video, like the video. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.